Hello guys, there we go. So we are going to start. This is a pretty decent hand. It would be perfect if we had one more mana, but I'm not gonna mulligan. I mean, I have one draw, so hopefully I can get there. And if I, I mean, I have two draw steps to draw my second land, and I play a bunch of them, so uh, yeah, I hope that works. Anyway, we are facing a Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. That doesn't really sound too good. I have to be wary of some combo shenanigans. Momik Vig, Momir Vig, and Karthus Tyrant of Jund. So, and then me. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, hmm. Ah, and we got there. Look at that. That's pretty good. So, actually, now that I'm thinking of it, um, I mean, I was actually wary of something like, uh, you know, that pester my Tiki Jiki combo, but actually this is a rare commander, so we can't really play that. So, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. What is this? Oh, huh. all right. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm going to be careful with this guy just in case. Then classic Momik Vig, decent but not amazing. And this guy, I mean, it's not at its best now because there aren't any dragon commanders. There normally are quite a bit, but um, yeah, just a jump deck here. I guess in this case, it's just worse than Crash the Blood Braided. Alright, so we will go get probably a Tropical, I want to say. Yeah, I'm going to go get a Tropical. And then um, Overgrown Tomb with the Nature's Lore. So here we go, getting that Overgrown Tomb. And now we have all our colors, and that should be pretty good. Nice lands from this guy. I really love the Ursa Saga lands. Nothing from this guy. If we're lucky, we can drop an oracle, and we are lucky. So I'm gonna go go ahead and drop that oracle there. And perfect. That's very good. I mean that Kozilek there doesn't do so much because we are miles away from actually casting him. Mm -hmm. But it's good. We actually accelerate him to another land. And then, I mean, the best thing that could happen to us is either draw or, well, actually have the... Okay. Again, this sounds kind of comboish. So I was saying, yeah, the best thing that can happen to us is the next card being a searcher or something. So then we can increase our odds of... Um... What's going on? Is he... Okay. Increase our odds of ramping. Oiled Eye Snake. That guy's pretty decent. It's good against me. He draws a couple of cards. If we don't hit a land, I guess we can Dark Steel Ingot into pretty much nothing. Or we can leave the Surgeon up. I don't know what the Surgeon does, but. Hmm. Alternatively, we can Acidic Slime the Skull Clamp which isn't the worst idea ever. If we do hit a land, we can ingot into Archmage. So no land then, huh? Hmm. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to drop the ingot here, because having three mana up doesn't do anything for me. I will either cast the slime to kill the Skull Clan, but that doesn't seem great. I can leave Desertion up, which could be decent. Or... I can drop an Archmage, which doesn't seem great. So it's really either leave the Sertion up or Acidic Slime. Do I really want Acidic Slime? Nah, I think I'll just uh, leave the Sertion up and pass, attacking like, I don't know, maybe the... Yeah, whoever, that guy. I'll just leave the Sertion up, I think that's the best. 
So let's see what's going on here. Tuk Tuk Scrapper. When it enters the battlefield, destroy. Okay, that's fine. That's not bad. Good thing I didn't acidic slime then. Am I getting attacked by this? Yep, I am. That's fine, not much you can do about that. He'll draw a card. And not much more. This guy could have a big turn now. He could even 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, he could even theoretically drop his card as Tyrant of Junt if he um, if he has a black source, which I would happily desertion. I don't think he will though, because there's no real point to it. I mean, other than just starting to attack. The Overgrown Tomb, I guess? Yeah. So he will drop a Karthus. Well, I guess I'll... Oh, no, he won't. Okay, let's see what he does then. And nothing. That was a wasted 5 mana then. Would really like to get a land up there. Hmm. Not the best. Yeah, now I will actually just drop that. Just because, I mean, there's not much I can do here. I'll just attack this guy with the Oracle. I guess it's fine. This only destroys artifacts, right? Yeah. I will draw Mirari's Wake next turn and then hopefully, well, 3, 4, 5. If I draw another land, then I can do something else with it. Yeah. This isn't the best, but. Yeah. It's Kiki Jiki coming out. Mana Echoes, yeah, this is definitely an infinite combo deck. Cause whenever a creature enters the battlefield, add X to a mana pool or that's the number of creatures that share a type with it. Uh, uh, yes. This is for sure some comboish deck. Hmm. What to do, what to do. So if I cast Miraru's Wake next turn with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I would need to have two lands up to leave the Sertion for his Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki doesn't do much for him right now though. I'm not sure what the other part of his combo is. I probably should know, but hmm, I'm afraid I don't. Guess I'm getting pinged for one, yep. Go ahead and draw a card, my friend. There's Marmervig, that's fine. I could actually just tier command, like going for creatures and probably artifacts, which would get this, this, all the creatures, or creatures and enchantments, which would get that. I don't know what, what I'm more afraid of. If this or that and that. I wish I knew what his combo was. I guess against artifacts, this guy has that anyway. Well, it's gonna die, so two million steer command if I go ahead and do that. Hmm. Tin Street Hooligan. Okay. So I guess he's getting the amulet of vigor. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now we can. I can go steer command for art uh, for enchantments and creatures, and that should be pretty good. I should keep this guy off his annoying combo, and um, and these guys off my back. Come on, show me! God damn it, no land. No, I, I don't even know what... Mm. 
This guy is annoying. Maybe I don't even austere command here. Maybe I just acidic slime that thing. Or maybe I just cast Mirari's Wake. Yeah, I'm just gonna Mirari's Wake so I have more options for next turn. Two man, I don't do anything. So I won't do anything. I'll just pass here then. At least next turn I get to Demonic Tutor if I don't find any lands on the top of my library. So what is he going for? He's going for the Kiki Jiki now. Okay. So he has two mana. He copies that thing, I guess destroys that <coughs> and hits him for a bunch. And then that's about it. I mean he gets a bit more mana, but Okay, that's really not. Is he just want, just want to damage me or what? That was a bit weird. Aha, uh -huh, okay, because he gets two activations. Ah, I see. Six mana, Brass Herald. What is this thing? Choose a creature type. Has. Ah, you reveal the top four. He's a goblin. Okay, so he's like, uh, he keeps all goblins. So Slice and Dice, Searing Blaze, City of Shadows, that, so nothing for him. And this guy is getting attacked. Still getting pinged by that annoying bastard. So then next turn, assuming my thing survives, I can austere command for all creatures. Um... I want to do it for all creatures just because I want to get this annoying thing off my back. And then, because that is converted mana cost through a lesser form, or yeah. And then I can also acidic slime that thing. Seed for me, yeah, that's then now I'm definitely gonna austere command. He goes, goes get acidic slime, which I will. Okay, so change of plans then. This guy has Acidic Slime for my Mirari's Wake. So what I'm going to do is with three lands I'm going <coughs> to Seer Command all creatures and then I'm going to leave Desertion up to counter that Acidic Slime which threatens my Mirari's Wake. That's going to be the plan. I could Demonic Tutor for a land if the top card of my library is in the land. That is one possibility. Sounds a bit like a waste of a demonic tour, but I guess it's a possibility. So what's going on? Resounding Thunder the Kiki Jiki. Yeah, that's irrelevant. Ah, oh, so you got in heaven. <sighs> Yeah, you know, I have enough action, I think. I'm just gonna Demonic Tutor a land. I really want a lot of lands in play with um, with Oracle. And then I reshuffle, and I'm just gonna get a bio here, I think. That's double black, double green, I don't have double black. Do I need anything else? Blue. Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah, and then I actually... Get some land up there. Okay, perfect. So I get some lands up top of my deck. So now, let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 12, 13 mana. It's going to be 6 and 5 is 11. And uh, 2 left. Okay, so first things first. I'm going to attack, I guess, this guy. Gonna attack that guy. And then I will steer command and leave the surgeon up. I think that's the play here. So steer command for all creatures and then leave the surgeon man up. That is the plan. Destroy all creatures, creatures. So two, 
four. What do I need? I guess I'll do that six. Creatures go boom. And then I just pass with the surgeon up. This guy recasting Kiki Jiki. Yep. Fair enough. So it turns out that the Monic Tutor was pretty decent. Got me three lands out of the deal. Am I getting attacked? Yep. Yeah, that sounds lovely, but no thanks. And I think I'll just destroy that thing. Gaia Spiral could be annoying as well, but I have my own for that afterwards. And he doesn't even have any creatures, so that's fine, I think. Also, in, during my turn, I can Nickel Bolas, gain control of Kiki Jiki. It's tapped though, so I can't just now copy my uh, Acidic Slime. But that is an idea. How much mana do we have? So I'm going to have 8 lands, so that's 16, 17. I'm going to have 17 mana next turn. So I can Kozilek. That's 4. I can Kozilek and Glenel. That's fine. I can Kozilek and Glenelandra. That sounds decent. Glenelandra just for protection. That's 14. And I have 3 men left, which I'll just keep up for the uh, Archmage activation. Just to make sure no shenanigans happen. Yeah, so nothing more from this guy, and then I think I think that'll be the play. Um, so yeah, let's go with that then. Two, three, four, five. Did I miss? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's also pretty decent, all the stuff I drew. Now, I think the best idea is to just drop that Archmage down. Yeah, definitely. I'll just drop this guy down and get uh, protection from these people's stuff. So this guy conceded. Oh, and I lost then my acidic slime, so I can't really attack. So I'll pass a turn. So what's going on here? Better be a creature. One is dealt damage, it deals up damage to each creature to each player okay I guess he can copy that and do like an earthquake kind of thing to each player yeah so he's gonna just attack me for four that's fine I'm not gonna block him and make him 13 me So this guy is going to concede, I guess. He says he has nothing, which leaves me just against this player, which means he's probably just dead as well. So I'll just grab this. Uh, I need like black, red, and then I'll just gain control of that guy and attack him. He has to sacrifice a bunch of things. And I think that should um I should pretty much do it. He has to sacrifice a bunch of guys. I have to commend this guy for not conceding actually. I mean he is actually dead, but um yeah, it's pretty pretty honest from him not conceding um, so 
so I can acidic slime that thing, but I don't think that's really necessary. I'll just um, I'll just drop like a consecrated sphinx or something. That should pretty much wrap it up. <laughs> That's funny. Is he pinging my nickel bolas? Doesn't really matter, I'm gonna destroy one of his lands and then uh, he has to sacrifice pretty much everything. When I attack him with a thing there. And I have Vault of the Archangel just in case. So yeah. I think that's basically it. Yeah, he actually just dies with this. So yeah, that was the first game. Hope uh, you guys enjoyed it and let's see if we can keep our winning streak up.